So today we'll be looking at Goshen Ho uh, number two. Um, again, since you carry here, uh, we'll be suffering. I mean, helping me today. So, um, yeah, we'll have a go. So number two breakdown. Um, first of all, we um, we, we did the karito uh, for the kick for the shin. So first thing, uh, what you try not to do is to lift. Yeah, you need to drop and come up from underneath. You've got less chance of them reacting to it because they can't feel your arm moving. They know you're going back, but they, they don't tell you. If you do this, this is obvious, and they put a resistance in. Yeah? But if you come from underneath and you're trying to grab, yes? Now, backhand. While it's there, you can, you don't have to, you can. Oh, sorry. Then you can use your flaps to drop. Then, when you go for this, you can actually cut across their muscles to turn them again. You're ripping across. Then, because they've been so polite to you, you bait them. By pulling the hip back, bringing this in, and go, you, you're attacking, you're attacking the wrist. Keep it on, kick and a hard attack, kick hard. Uh, Go Shin Ho uh, number two. So this time we're attacking the rear hand rather than the front hand. Uh, since I explained, this will be from drawing a sword. So, Goshen Ho number one, we're actually attacking the hand that draws. In this one, you would be attacking the hand that holds the sire. And the drawing action is the hip going back to allow the sword to come out. So, we're attacking this hand so the sire can't go back to, to draw. So, that's, that's the, the, the basis of the, the technique. Again, very powerful wrist locks. So feedback to Tori, it should again feel like this constriction, ever, ever getting tighter, not loosing off. And the very last one where the Tori bows into the technique is the most powerful of the lot. So you really do need to make sure you're ready for it and you can signal and tap out because if you don't it's, it's going to go on very quickly and can cause some damage. So again, to all his point of view, not a great deal going on, but you need to, uh, from Uke's point of view, not a great deal going on, but you need to feed this back to Tori. 
if you can feel any of the techniques, every, any of the locks slackening off, you need to tell them because they're not doing something quite right. Okay, so a conclusion. Sensi Schmidt has, uh, has some, written some fantastic books and, and part of this Goshen Ho says that if you become proficient, um, you can actually add other items in. So as long as the Goshen Ho is fluid, moving, you're getting the locks in, you're actually moving your body, then that's really good. So, you know, if the, 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 uh, the kick to the shin, if you want to put that in, fine. If you don't, don't have to. You can go straight, straight to the strike. Um, with this one as well, here, again, soft knees, drop. Yeah, soft knees, drop. Same time as you turn your body, hit. So, very important not to not to um, transmit that you that you're moving, but to so practice just try not to move this hand, but to get low and to and to take. Yeah, try and get low and get the movement from underneath rather than it coming up underneath. Yeah, so then you're not telling them what you're doing. You're not going for the grab because they'll either, they'll either reject it, so they'll let go, which is good, or they'll put even more force into it. So you want to try and do it so it's undetected. It's, it's a ghost technique. Yeah. Uh, again, play with the, uh, some, of the, some of the pressure points that you can find and you can, and you can use. Yeah, if, you, if you're that, you know, think about what you're doing with your body. Don't just limit yourself. Play. Play with how their body works. Yeah. So, also remember to try and cut into the joint. Try and get to the extremities of the joint. Find out where the joints are. With the elbow, the wherever the little finger is, that's where that's where the joint is for the elbow. So you really need to understand the skeleton and how it works for your advantage and their disadvantage. But make sure that you are moving your 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 body, not trying to do it with just your arms. Thank you.